Hey everyone, this is uh, Alyssa with Virtual IT Accounting, and this is a video we wanted to create. It's related to the Square and Zero Accounting Software integration, which uses Amica as the uh, third party software. It's a great software, and the support team there is really great to work with. But we wanted to just kind of identify some issues that have been popping up for us. The example we're going to use is a client uh, that is in the craft brewing space um, and located in British Columbia. But this can be applied to a number of different uh, whatever whatever your business happens to be. OK. So let's take a look. This is what uh, you would see. Sorry, this upper screen. This is kind of two screenshots in one. Not pretty, but uh, gets the point across. This is this upper screen is what you would see once you log in, if you've already set up the the integration. So this isn't going over the integration. This is more problem solving for an integration that's having some sync issues. Um, if you know it was having sync issues, if you go into sync history, you'll see a bunch of issues uh, with the sync. And what we see mainly is uh, that tax groups need to be set up. Um, and then that can also lead into other issues which we'll, we'll get into or, or things to look for. Uh, but when you go into it, you can, to make sure your tax, if you're, you're getting any um, you know, sync issues coming back that is saying tax groups, what you're gonna wanna do is go into this area, click edit, and then that will take you to uh, this screen, which is you know walking through the integration again, you are gonna you're right here right now. You're gonna be go to the tax type types uh, area, so you can actually just click there and it will jump ahead for you. Once you're in the tax types, this is what you're gonna see. It will have pulled in whatever it is you, that you had in in zero specifically for single. Uh, or sorry, not it will pull in whatever you had set up uh, in Square. So the way Square does it is they have you know GST five percent, uh, sales tax ten percent, um, you know PST seven uh, percent. So again, this is a, a craft brewing client. They may not have the same tax codes as you because uh, any liquor sold in British Columbia is is also tax is the provincial sales portion is 10%, not 7%. 7% is still applicable for merchandise and things like that, but it's it's 10% for, for liquor sold to the end consumer. Also noting that uh, a, a craft brewery also would sell, if they were selling to, to a pub for resale, they would only charge GST, not the liquor tax. So um, it, this is why I'm using this client as an example, because they have a lot of different things going on. But your, mat, your square taxes, they actually um, are singular taxes. And then for individual items, say you're selling a beer, you're, you would choose in square that you're selling and that you want to tax it at 5% and also at 10%. So in Square, it's coming in with two taxes, but zero works differently. Zero has doesn't have different taxes. You set them up as um, a, a PST and a GST kind of together. They're a grouped tax. So that's why you have to create the groupings um, that tells uh, the software coming from Square going to zero, hey, these individual ones actually are the same as these group taxes in zero. Okay, so that to do that, you're actually going to in the Amica integration setup, you're going to hit add new tax group. And then you're going to set up the tax groups like this. GST 7% PST. So this would be for again for this situation craft craft brew, brewing company, uh, you're going to have all your liquor, wine and all that kind of stuff that you're selling. Um, but then this might be for your merchandise, your toques, your hats, your uh, t-shirts, anything like that. Once you set those up, this is how they're going to look. I blocked off this one because that one was not applicable and going to be uh, deleted and archived. It was just fixing an old issue. Um, but uh, this is how they're going to look once they're properly set up. OK, and the next screen, I'm going to take you to this should fix it. But the next screen, we also want to um, ensure that these are actually mapped to zero. And so if you're having problems mapping, uh, so you'll then map these ones right here to zero. These are coming from zero. Um, and if they look okay, 
then that's great. If they don't, you're going to want to just hop into zero. And so this is again, an ugly screenshot. I apologize. You click accounting advance and then tax rates. Um, you can go to your tax rates and you just make sure that your GSTs are and PSTs and stuff are all set up correctly in zero or, or get your bookkeeper to do that. Um, GST, PST, 5%, 7%. So you see the, the codes here and the fact that they're actually allocated to the appropriate governing body. So if you do both of those things and you uh, make sure it's all set up, um, what you can do is then resync those. If it's not letting you resync in the portal with Amica, you can actually email support and say you've fixed the tax groupings. Could you try resyncing? Uh, they can often help you on that as well. Uh, I hope this video helped. Uh, if you have any questions, you can uh, drop a note, comment, um, and we're happy to, to help if we can. Take care.